Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me in today's video. Uh, this video was basically made in response to a question that I had on one of my other YouTube videos the other day, which I think was from the Cats and Specs. Um, but basically, the the user had asked about building up a, a branch table. Now, uh, I am using one of the out of the box specs, the CS150. It's populated with uh, a whole bunch of branch connections effectively, so T's, uh, Socolets, um, so we've got uh, just some standard butt welds, some reducing T's and, and like I said some Socolets in here. I just find uh, when educating people it's, it makes it easier to use one of the existing ones uh, and then you can have a look at making your own from that. So this is effectively what um, the new branch table would look like in uh, your new spec. It, it populates all of the, the sizes there that it finds from the spec itself. Um, now you can see because I did copy this one, I've deleted all of the settings in here, but it has kept um, the legend. So the legend, so down the bottom right, you click on the edit legend, legend button. And this is where we add our parts that we want to add for the branch table. So um, if you know, you can see this one, it's already the part type is an OLED and then we pull down in the second one, we pull down the part that we want from the spec. Um, obviously, socklets don't need a reducer. This legend symbol is populated by you, so uh, you as an end user can call this up whatever you whatever you like. So it might, this might be taken from the paper spec itself. Um, and then lastly, the name. So this is just uh, again just a user sort of editable entry here, where it's just called socklet comma socket weld. And then the next part you can see here, it's populated with T's and we've added the T's in from the spec, plus a reducer, so the legend is R1 and it's TN reducer. Um, the reducer itself, pipes, which are considered stub in connections, and then all of the, the rest of the T's as well, so for T butt weld, T socket weld, and T reduced. Now this, um, again, taken from the stand one, it's quite uh, sort of broad in what it has. Your paper spec might not be so, so broad, um, and as well, you know, you might have to wait until the very end before you do the branch table, uh, you know, if it's not populated. And as, you know, as as you sort of move along in, in you know, becoming a, a plant administrator, uh, you will soon learn to ask, you know, for, for something like a branch table, you need that quite early on as well. So sometimes you do get them, sometimes you don't. Sometimes people just say, oh, do it yourself. Um, but again, at the end of the day, someone um, who has the knowledge and experience in setting up these branch tables should be doing it on paper first and then giving you it, giving it to you so that you can make an electronic copy. Um, you know, this one only has socklets. There might be threadlets, weldlets. Again, you know, in here, you'll just add them in here as well. A uh, couple other options here, the, the titles, so headers and branches. So the header is the main run. So uh, if you're going down a pipe rack, the header is the, the long run going down the pipe rack, and then the branch is obviously the piece coming off it. Uh, any other notes, uh, you know, anything else in here that you need to add, you can. Once you've set up the legend, setting them up in the branch tab is quite easy. You just double click in the, on the on the block here and you say, you know, what do you want for a half by half inch? So we're just going to say that it's a stub in. Okay. So I can go through all of the outside boxes and populate them as stub ins. If um, let's go let's do stub ins up to two inch and let's go three inch. So we can do uh, stub ins and we can do butt weld T connections. So if someone was to pipe up a three inch header with a three inch branch, um, you could get stub ins or equal T's put in there. If I double click that in again and go back in here, so you can see the part use priority, the stub in is the default and the T is second. If I move that up, now the T is the default. Okay, so same thing, maybe I can do it from here, T1 and S1. Go up and change it. Okay, so I can do that all the way through and populate um, any of the branches. If we want to go into something a bit smaller, so let's say 10 by 1 inch, so we can do a stub in. 
uh, or a socolet. Okay, so again, also the socolet's the default, and the stub in is the second option. So if we're to run a 250 mil line against a 25 mil line, the options there are stub ins or socolets. Uh, let's do four by three inch. So the option here would be maybe we can do a stub in and we could do a T and reducer or a reduced T. So now you've got three options for that. Okay, T and reducer is the first part, uh, first priority. Stub in is second, a reduced T is third. But we want reduced T's first, T and a reducer second, and then the stub in is to be the last option. Okay. Let's do the same for six by four. So let's do T and reducer, stub in and reduce T. And then we want a reduce T to be first, T and reducer second, and stub in third. Okay. So basically you go through and populate that. So I'm just going to close this and then I'm going to open it up again. Okay, so this is what the populated one looks like. So apologies, this is all on a 4K screen. Um, if you can't see it, um, we just try and maximize the video if you can so then you can see it properly but otherwise uh, we've got here a six by a four inch and you can see here t reduced is the first option t and a reducer and a stub in and then even down here so 14 by one and a half inch so stub in is the first priority and then socle is the second one okay so as i mentioned earlier if um you are going to sort of teach yourself any of these then have a look at using the standard out of the, the box um, uh, training ones, the, the CS150 that comes with uh, the software. They're already populated and I think they're a great resource, or a great way to start learning and seeing how uh, branch tables uh, work in Plant3D. <laughs> so without a branch table also, I, I forgot to mention this, without a branch table, the software isn't going to know what to do when it gets to a uh, header and branch connection. So uh, even by default, if you have a uh, standard spec that you're gonna be using, you may, even maybe make everything a stub in just to start off with. Uh, and then that way, at least your connections will work or make everything a T or something like that. Um, but at the end of the day, you are gonna have to ask the engineer or the client um, how, how these branch tables work like what they have on paper and then obviously you're going to have to convert it to an electronic one and like anything that we do inside plant 3d once we do it uh once for that that spec um then it's there for life so you don't have to redo these over and over again so hopefully this uh answered your question to that person who asked me on youtube but uh, as usual thanks for watching thumbs up if you liked the video thumbs down if you didn't but please do subscribe to the channel and i will see you next week for some more uh, plant 3d see you later